This video will show you how to find the embed code so that you can embed a video into your code.org website. So first you're doing this on the worksheet. So I have the worksheet open and I'm down at find a video. I have also already Googled, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, searched on YouTube for a uh, video that I want. So here's the video. I'm gonna come down and click share. So first you wanna copy the this link that'll pop up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit copy, come back to my website and I'm going to hit paste. If you hit space after you put a link in, it automatically becomes a clickable link. Uh, so right here, I need a brief description of the video. I'm gonna write US holidays. And now I need to go back to YouTube to find the YouTube embed code. So for this one, I can stay on the same screen, but I'm gonna click embed. So over here on the left, click embed. This will pop up, go ahead and copy the whole thing. And now come back to the worksheet and paste it right there. So code.org does not like this embed code. Instead, we have to make it a code.org embed code. So in your worksheet, I already put the code.org embed code without a link to a video. So you have to come, you see right here in the example, I have the pink and the pink and they match. You're doing the same thing. So you're gonna find the link. So there's the link right there. And you're gonna copy it. Notice I did not copy using the uh, quotation marks since I already have my quotation marks here. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste. And now I'm just gonna delete that extra space to make sure that everything is all together and in one link. So now you would copy this. And if you have your code.org open, so I'm already open to my uh, website. I haven't put anything in yet, but I know that I'm going to end up wanting to have my website on my homepage. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit Control V to paste. And you see it magically pops up it'll actually play in your website. Um, if you wanted this under a heading, you would put the heading you know, above. If you wanted this first and the heading afterwards, you put the heading after. So at this point, you can just kind of code around it. 